£3.8 billion water company profits, £1 billion in shareholder dividends, 20% rise in executive water company pay, 60% of which in bonuses. In my book, by the way, Mr Speaker, you get a bonus for doing a good job, not a terrible one. Yeah. Meanwhile, in my constituency, or in Cumbria as a whole, we've seen in the River Eden at Kirby Stephen 101 days of sewage outflows, at Swindell Beck at Brough, 115 days of sewage outflows, in Cark and Cartmel, the River A, 252 days of uh, sewage outflows, and on Windermere Lake, at the heart of the English Lake District, 71 days of sewage flows. All of this, outrageously, is legal. Is legal. So when is the government, when is the government going to force the water companies not just to clean up their act, but to clean up our lakes and our rivers too? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, like some other members of this house, I received an email this month from the Pennon Group, who owns South West Water. The email from the Pennon Group reads, uh, we wanted to provide you with the most recent information so that you're able to have an informed debate. I wonder if the Minister agrees that what should inform our debate is the experience of our constituents, and they're seeing their bills rise, sewage flood our waterways, and whether she also agrees that water companies should be focusing on delivering a quality service to bill payers rather than quality lobbying of politicians. Yeah. Uh, so, so, Mr Speaker, as the Minister knows, Wilbur Cook Mill Stream in Oxford became the second place in, uh, river in the country to get designated bathing water status. So can she understand our frustration when the official designation for 2022 was poor and over the Christmas period 676 hours, that's nearly an entire month, of sewage was discharged upstream in uh, Whitney. So can she seriously say, in light of that, that she is and the government doing enough? Why won't she set even stricter targets, especially around areas of bathing water status? And can she give a cast iron guarantee to our community that we're not going to lose bathing water status because of lacklustre action by this government? Yeah, yeah. Uh uh, she knows full well. I, vi I visited uh, that. Mr Speaker, the Minister may be aware that um, Thames Water is considering plans to draw out water from the river at Teddington in my constituency in times of drought and to replace it with treated sewage. She may, uh, and this can cause all sorts of havoc on ecosystems if it's not monitored and regulated properly, but she'll appreciate that my constituents and I have little faith in regulators when Thames Water at the moment is losing a quarter of its supply every day through leaks and avoiding fines because the, 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 the targets that are set for it are just not strong enough. So will she look at strengthening those targets so that they are more liable to fines and also cracking down on the eye-watering bonuses that their executives are raking in, which is forcing them to look at these sorts of damaging river abstraction plans when they should be fixing leaks? Mm. Minister. 